Today we're going to be talking about the WeldSkill 185 multi-process welding inverter. Looking at the front of the machine. I'll just turn the machine on. Just to show the different uh, settings, the process. It's in mid mode at the moment, you use the little arrow next to the process, push it, change it to lift TIG, push it again, change it to stick welding. I'll be doing some MIG welding of this first up, so I'm going to put it in mid mode. It's got another selector switch underneath, which is for 2T and 4T. What that means is, T stands for trigger on your MIG gun. Okay, so when it's in 2T, it's just Pull your trigger in, you weld, take your finger off, you stop. Put it into 4T, latch it's called. Pull the trigger once, take your finger off, it keeps welding. When you finish welding, pull the trigger and it stops the machine. Like an anti-fatigue device or cruise control. Additionally, this machine has wire feed speed for volt, for uh, meat welding, voltage. And it also has an arc control knob, which actually changes the feel of, of the MIG welding from being soft down here to being a bit stiffer and more controllable if you say doing vertical welding. You've got the terminal connections and in the middle there's a remote control socket. This remote control socket allows this machine, the 185 weld skill machine, to be used with a spool gun. Spool gun, guns are great for welding aluminium um, and additionally we can run a tick torch on this machine as well, which does not come with the kit, and neither does a spool gun. Um, but you can use an additional tick torch to use the lift tick process on this machine. So we talked about the front of the machine and the three knob controls plus the process selection. There is one other knob to consider when you're using the well skilled multi-process machines, and it's a control in here called burn back control. And burn back control changes the amount of wire sticking out of the end of the MIG gun after you finish welding. So some people like more, some people like less. If you want less, you take it down anti-clockwise. You want more, you change it up to clockwise. Additionally, this machine, right up the top, has a local and remote switch, and that is designed, so when we put the, the uh, spool gun on the front, we change it into remote, and that will then allow us to run the spool gun. If no spool gun is being used, we put it back into local, which means we're using the local control switches off the front of the machine.